Hello classmates, uh, welcome to this video and this will be the discussion on chapter number 2 because last time we already discussed what is chapter 1 that is more on the introduction or overview of science, technology, and society. So for this uh, presentation or this recorded video, I'm going to present to you chapter number 2 which is entitled Historical Antecedents. And it is also good, you know, it's also good to check out the influence of this uh, historical antecedents that is uh, uh, one of the bases no, of the modern technology or the modern concept of science and technology. That's why we're going to start with historical antecedents. And in the, in the historical antecedents, uh, there are actually two parts. No? There are two parts of historical antecedents. First, we're going to start with uh, what we call this one. We're going to start with uh, we're going to start with the ancient civilizations and the next part of the historical antecedents we're going to check out also the middle age the modern age and even the other terms or other concept that is related to historical antecedents so for this uh, presentation or for this recorded video we're going to discuss the ancient civilizations okay so ancient civilizations are the following we have sumerian we have babylonian we have egyptian we also have Greek and we also have Roman and then the Chinese civilization. So there are six, no? There are six ancient civilizations that will be presented to you in this uh, video. And just to remind you, my dear classmates, that uh, we're not really going to check out the history, no? the, 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 the whole history of every ancient civilizations, but we're going to check out only the contribution uh, the contribution of these ancient civilizations in the concept of science and technology. So we're going to check out what are those different kinds of uh, tools or maybe technologies or the concept of science that they are uh, using before no? during this ancient time. Okay, so for this first part of the recorded video, I'm going to discuss the first three. So from Sumerian, Sumerian civilization going down to Egyptian civilization. And for the next part of the recorded video, I'm going to discuss the other three, you know, from Greek civilization going to the Chinese civilization. Okay, so let's start with uh, the definition of term as our basis you know, in this uh, topic or in this discussion. So since we're going to deal with the ancient civilization, we're going to talk about history, then we should know what is the definition of history. So history is defined as records or events of the past. Okay, and aside from history, we need to know also the definition of ancient. And ancient is only pertaining to what we call, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, only pertaining to very old. No? So because of uh, maybe time no, that was past or it's past uh, in a very long time, we say 100 years old already. So that is very old. So that is what we call uh, one of the term no, that we need to take note, yung ancient. Kaya nga, tinatawag na ancient civilization, yung ating title of of uh, our discussion this uh, uh, recorded video and we also have civilizations so civilization is uh, uh, defined as the advanced state of a social development okay so let's try to check out later on what would be the or how you know, how come that we come up with what we call the civilization or where is the first no where is the first uh, uh, beginning or the start of what we call the civilization okay so civilization is the advanced state of a social development and antecedents is only pertaining to what we call the ancestors. So, sa Filipino term, uh, mga ninuno. No? So, that is our actually term for antecedents. So, in English, antecedents is only pertaining to ancestors. So, again, these are our foundation or basis. Yes, foundation and then basis uh, for this topic or for this discussion. So, before we check out, no, my dear classmate, yung different ancient civilizations, let's try to... Uh, look back first on the early stage no, or the early uh, stage before this ancient civilization. So I'm going to start with the Sumerian civilization, but before the ancient civil the, the Sumerian civilization, let's try to go back no, in a little bit old uh, history. So if you still remember your history when you are still in high school or maybe let's say for example in, in your senior high or maybe in elementary uh, there are actually what we call an uh, stone ages no so meron tayong tinatawag na old stone age meron tayong uh, new stone age or we also have what we call the middle stone age okay so those are the first three ages no so the old stone age that is more of what we call yung paleolithic era and most people there are actually or the people that is uh, 
uh, uh, living in this particular era is more of what you call nomadic. No? So it's people are not yet settled or they did not yet started to settle during this time. So they are transferring from one place to another okay? as uh, the, the natural resources or their resources will be uh, consumed in this particular uh, place. No? So no permanent address nga yung yung ibang description natin no or let's say yung joke na description natin when you talk about the old stone age or yung paleolithic era and after the paleolithic era after the ice age we have already what we call yung middle uh, stone age okay so the middle stone age people are start starting already to settle however not that really long no so uh, yes uh, old stone age or the paleolithic era is more of nomadic but for middle stone age or yung Mesolithic era na tinatawag natin, people are actually settling. No, however, it will not only take long, so probably they will also again transfer to other places if the resources will be was at consumed already in that particular place. No, so the only difference of the Paleolithic and then Mesolithic, Mesolithic or Mesolithic era, the people in the Mesolithic era are actually staying longer in that particular place compared sa mga uh, compared to the people that is living during the Paleolithic era, that they are really transferring from one place to another place uh, in a very in a shorter time uh, compared to the Mesolithic era. Okay? And after the Mesolithic era, uh, we already have what we call the New Stone Age. So that is what we call the Neo Neolithic era, and that's the time that we we have already what we call the uh, settlements. Now the start of settlements, and here comes now the start of what we call yung civilization okay so let us connect now yung from from neolithic and or to say the neolithic era is basically the start of settlements and that is also connected now to the rise of these different civilizations okay so yung ating mga ancient civilizations na sumerian and other kinds of ancient civilizations that will be presented to you in this um discussion okay so the way that we're going to do it is uh, more of what we call questions. Yeah, so questions and learning, yung way of our discussing this type of history, no? or this uh, when you talk about the ancient civilization, so that we'll have a simpler way no, to understand or the contribution of this different ancient civilization. So let's start with the very first question. So I have said, no, Neolithic era is the start of civilization, particularly on the word or in 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 the was it in the Mesopotamia. Yeah, so Neolithic era going to Mesopotamia, and Mesopotamia means that this is actually land between the rivers. Okay, so what are those rivers? This is the Tigris River, the Euphrates, and also the Mediterranean River. And this Mesopotamia or this land between the rivers are considered actually the start, no? To be the start or the beginning of what we call the first civilization or the cradle of the first civilization. And the first civilization that settled no, in this Mesopotamia is basically what we call yung Sumerians eh, or yung Sumerian civilization. In Sumerians, uh, what does they look like before? Sumerians are also called or described as a black-headed people. Eh? They are called black-headed people not because of the color no, of their head as let's say it's very dark no, or black but because of their long wavy hair and then beards. So imagine, imagine no, a very long uh, wavy hair and then a very, let's say, uh, very uh, thick beards. That's why they look like really, or they are described as black, black-headed people. Okay. So same as true with uh, the women. No, they also have a long wavy hair, but probably they don't have beards. But for men, yeah, actually, yung kanilang description. Okay. So black-headed people ang Sumerian or yung mga Sumerians. And again, we have said Sumerians are the first one to settle in this Mesopotamia or in the Mesopotamia. And Sumerians are quite well no, in farming. Yeah, they are also a good craftsman. So they are creating other tools no, or yes, and, uh, creating tools that uh, be useful for farming or maybe for other uh, things or maybe for, let's say, for example, creating their own home or their houses, etc. Uh, Sumerians are also good priests. Yeah. they are also good writers or scribers or scribers, no? So that is their uh, description. And many Samarians are also considered to be scholars. And also they are a good 
merchants. So in line to trading, yan trading system or trading concept, they are, or let's say, during the ancient civilization, let's say Sumerian civilization, there is already what you call an idea of what you call yung merchant or yung, uh, what you call saan, yung trading or yung business concept during this time. So again, I have said, no, this is one of the influences of uh, the modern way of uh, set the modern way of businesses during this time no, or this uh, uh, present time uh, so uh, there is a big influence of Sumerian civilization towards uh, or what we have already during this time no sa farming sa, sa crafting yan sa writing and even uh, other uh, things no that they are actually doing during this Sumerian or during the ancient uh, during the ancient time okay? and these are some examples of their uh, what's that? Uh, work, no? So, this picture is, uh, this is statue. It's actually a statue of a, uh, their god, no? Or let's say, uh, one of their goddesses before. Okay? And, uh, goddesses ba? Um, not really goddess, but let's say, uh, type of hero, no? That they are admiring before. Uh, another example of their crafts, no? So, yung building of their uh, houses before. So, this is what it looks like, yung home nila, or yung Sumerian homes. So, you can see now that the architecture or yung yung uh, yung crafting skills nila are really good already during this ancient time. Okay, so that is how really good yung mga Sumerians during the ancient time. And Sumerians also is I have said no, they are also believing in gods. Yeah, or let's say in a a type of uh, a type of uh, supernatural being. Okay, so they believe of what they call Gel they believe in Gilgamesh and who is Gilgamesh? Gilgamesh is actually an epic hero of Sumerians. Okay, so uh, if you have heard about Beowulf, yeah, and Beowulf, if you have watched Beowulf, same as true with Gilgamesh. Now it is considered to be an epic hero of Sumerians. Yeah, and for the local heroes, or to just to compare, no, sa, lo sa local hero here in Cordillera or here in the northern part, we have Lamang. No, Lam Ang is actually considered to be an epic hero here in the Cordillera. So for Sumerians, we have already the concept of what they call ep epic hero, eh, which is uh, Gilgamesh. Eh? And uh, Sumerian is actually a very good storyteller. Yan, story storyteller ang Sumerians. That's why they come up or they created an ep epic hero which is Gilgamesh. That's why yung, 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 yung what's that? The the statue that I have presented to you a while back, that is actually Gilgamesh. No, and again, they created an epic hero because Sumerians are considered to be storytellers that is based on the study. Okay, so na create ang, ang was that, na create ang epic hero and then this epic hero is hero is actually considered to be a superhero. Okay, so it's part human and then apart uh, apart from it is actually God. So half human and then half God. And they believe actually this one, no? Uh, because of maybe their ancestors are telling a story or let's say it's a legend already now when we talk about this Gilgamesh that's why they come up with the statue of this um, of this Gilgamesh no? or see si Gilgamesh yeah. and aside from uh, what's that the superhero of Sumerian um, there are also types of temples no, that was created by the Sumerian uh, by the Sumerians. Yeah. So what do they call their temples that they created during the ancient time is what they call yung Great Ziggurat of Ur. If you heard about it, kung ang Egypt, no, if Egypt have a great pyramid of uh, Giza for Sumerian civilization or for Sumerians, there, there is what we call a Great Ziggurat of Ur. And this is uh, uh, believed no, to be a tower, uh, let's say to be a at a temple for over 3,000 gods yeah, or they created this temple to serve or let's say to to praise no this over 3,000 or more than 3,000 gods so the god of heaven the god of earth the god of water the god of of rocks yeah, and the god of wind etc so there are actually a lot of goddesses that uh, they believe during this uh, ancient time okay, so Sumerians are more on what's that? More on believing of the supernatural beings, or hey, yung, or let's say yung goddesses, no? Yung gods and then goddesses. So imagine yung over three thousand gods na yan, or more than three thousand, probably. No, ang dami dami actually silang. Ang dami nilang gods uh, during this um, uh, during this ancient time, no? Yung ating Sumerians. And 
Um, Great Secret of Ur is also considered to be towers. Yan. Or let's say there are some or same or similar, sorry, similar temples uh, or similar structure, I should say. No? Similar structure of Great Ziggurat of Ur in, uh, that? in a type of tower and it particularly can be seen on the cities. So, tingnan natin yung picture. So, this is actually Gilgamesh. Yan. So, that is the considered to be or believe no believe to be a uh, Gilgamesh and we also have the what you call we also have the great ziggurat of uh, of uh, Ur no so so this is the picture no the picture of the great ziggurat of Ur and so that is the temple that they have created and one of the popular what is on the one of the popular uh, created temple of the Sumerians and and they are uh, it's really nice to see no to check out this kind of architecture during this uh, ancient time so you see no how really good the, the people before when I talk about this type of uh, temples no like for example yung the great ziggurat of Ur that was created by Sumerians okay? and we also have similar structure on some of the cities no in Sumerians or let's say in Mesopotamia so they created a similar structure so maybe tower or maybe a type of buildings and homes of the people or maybe another type of temple of uh, the Sumerians. Okay, so those are uh, one of the important contribution as well or one of the good things about this uh, or how good no how really good Sumerians uh, during the ancient time okay? and Sumerians also uh, in line to industry and in line to industry so we have said no they are actually a good merchants because they already introduced the concept of trade in industries during this ancient time so they have they are very really good to what they call pottery and so weaving as well a metal work and masonry cosmetics and even medicines are already been introduced during the ancient time so they have also their own way to uh, cure no uh, diseases during this time however not all diseases are actually being cured because of these traditional types of medicines or the use of plants or herbs during this ancient time and uh, uh, what you call son they also invented something no they also invented something to make the trading successful during this time so as we all know when we talk about the first uh, a civilization that is located in Mesopotamia and Mesopotamia is uh, described to be land between rivers no so meaning there are a lot of rivers between this land of uh, or the, yes between this land and then since Sumerian is the first one to settle and they develop already or come up with the concept of trading they created now or invented what you call a sailboat okay so sailboat in the mere fact that they're going to use the sailboat to go to the other places or to pass through that rivers okay that's why they come up with what they call sailboat so imagine no uh, during the ancient time they already uh, invented these types of boats and there are three different types actually of boats that they have created or invented we have the skin boats this is more of uh, they use a material from the fur or skin of animals yan kaya tinawag na skin boats so those are smaller type of boats no, or smaller type of sailboats we also have a sailboat that is a uh, way much bigger compared to the skin boats no, that was used by fishermen etc and we also have the wooden oared ships so during the ancient time we already have oared ships no yung mga old types of ships like for example if you have been watching a uh, pirate of the caribbean yan yung ship no na ginagamit nila is similar already of what they call yung wooden oared ships during the ancient time and that was created or invented by the sumerian civilization okay so again no it's really amazing how they are really a good craftsman during this ancient time and uh, not only that one no so if sailboat is used for the water for the land they also come up with what we call the wheel and then cart so this is a very first type or a very yes a very first type of a transportation no during the ancient time so wheel and then cart decide to check out the picture later on and uh, usually you no know, they are doing the the trading yeah, and the trading uh, yes yes the trading and then selling in the uh, Persian Gulf okay so this the, the Persian Gulf is considered to be uh, the center you know, the center of trading of the different places or the different civilizations during this time so precious stones ivory 
and other luxury items are actually being traded in the Persian Gulf. Okay, aside from these precious stones or aside from the, 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 the things that they have invented, um, if you still don't know, no? or if you're wondering, beer brewing before is already introduced. Yeah. Or they are actually creating beers already and fermentation or let's say wine no? during the ancient time. So one of the basis of the modern way of uh, was that fermentation or let's say yung brewing natin is come from the ancient uh, civilization such as yung ating Sumerian civilization. So we have there a example uh, picture no ng ating um, or paintings or art ng ating Sumerians just to represent yung beer brewing and then fermentation. We also have a picture of an old type of uh, What's an sailboat? Yeah, so this is uh, what it looks like. Yung mga sailboat natin before, and this is now the wheeling cart. So it is made out of clay or it made out of wood. No, yung ating uh, tinatawag na wheel and then cart. So this is somewhat similar. No, if you try to look at it, it's somewhat similar to the modern type of cars or transportation technology during this present time. Okay, so meron, da, meron din siyang four wheels yan, that is made out of either clay or rocks or maybe wood. Yan, so that is uh, again uh, one of the bases I have said no, for the modern type of, of cars or transportation technology. Alright, so aside from the William cart, aside from those technology that was presented, uh, Samarian also is uh, good in, or in, in line to writings and school of Samarian civilization. Um, they come up also with the uh, what's that the the first or the world's first writing system. No, so this is uh, the world's first writing system that was introduced by Sumerian civilization, which is what we call yung cuneiform. Okay, so cuneiform, uh, similar to letters that we are using nowadays na A B C D, but they have a different uh, a type of way of writing yung ating cuneiform. Okay, and the cuneiform is uh, similar or described as this sorry as described as dyslexic dream job dyslexic if you are familiar with the, the disease no which is dyslexia yan similar jan sa dyslexic dream job na yan. why because we are reading actually the sentences or the writings of of Sumerians before from right to left yan so baliktad no during this time we are actually doing left to right so from left going to the right yung pagbasa natin or how we actually read no those different sentences or maybe a type of letter or maybe a message and, and this is what it looks like yung ating mga cuneiform before and this is also um this is only a sample no it is actually used for for um assessment or for for us uh, for us to try only yung how no how can we actually write yung cuneiform so this is not actually the the proper structure of the cuneiform but rather eto no yung first eto so this is actually the structure of the cuneiform and we can use this one as a uh, based on their study uh, there are equivalent letters no so meron tayong a b c d until z then yung kanilang letters before but then it is actually using a different uh, structure or how we actually write yung cuneiform. This type of uh, representation will only be used for uh, as, as one of uh, way you know, to at least try yung cuneiform writing system during the Sumerian civilization. Uh, ito na actually yung talagang um, cuneiform. So that is how they write their write, uh, or that is the world's first writing system. So maybe sometimes no, or maybe if you still if you have free time or vacant time, you can actually try to write your name uh, from right to left, and then by using these uh, symbols or this type of uh, writing in line to writings in school of Sumerian civilization, they also come up with what we call uh, a type of mathematical system. No? So the first type of mathematical system that was used by Sumerian by Sumerians or the Sumerian civilization is what we call as the sexagesimal system. So before, now my dear classmate, if you're wondering, sir, ano yung alam nila na number before? Well, uh, based uh, study, no, they only know 60. Yeah, they only know 60 as a number or as a base number during this early time or during the ancient time. So ang alam lang nila 60 seconds, 60 minutes. Yan, and they just calculate this one to uh, have what you call yung 24 hours. No? So, 60, 60, 60. Kaya tinawag na sexagesimal system. So, yung word na sabihin natin, it is 
uh, similar to parang what's that? there is a similar tone no of the 660 doon sa term nila na sexagesimal system so the only number that they know before is actually 60 kaya nagkaroon ng 60 seconds 60 minutes yan and they calculate this one just to come up with or to calculate yung 24 hours or yung one day during this ancient time okay so that is how really uh, good mathematicians also ang Sumerian before no and According to study as well, they already divided the circle no, into 360 degrees during this ancient time. And they, some suggest, no, or some historians and some scholars as well, suggested that maybe the concept of pi, which is yung 3.1416, is already been introduced during this time. Because, uh, remember, no, they already divided the circle. So it is possible that they come up also with the concept of pi, during this uh what's that? during this early time or during the Sumerian civilization although one of the what's that the argument no or debate when you talk about pi this was introduced by uh, i think uh, not Sumerian no according to history it is uh, other civilization yan ibang civilization actually yung nag-introduce ng uh, or to come uh, come up with this uh, value of pi na 3.14 and then 16 uh, 3.1416 and also some suggested some historians also suggested that maybe no it is possible that the pythagorean theorem during this time has already been introduced or they have been already using yung pythagorean theorem eh, because they divided already the circle at the same time they have already what we call yung mathematical system which is yung sexagesimal system okay so possible na mas nauna pa ang Sumerian civilization compared to Pythagoras. Uh, because Pythagoras is the one who introduced to us yung P Pythagorean theorem. So, some only, no, some historians or scholars suggested that maybe it is possible that Sumerian, since they are the first one to settle or to come up with this different mathematical system, then possible na Sumerian ang mas naunang nag-introduce ng Pythagorean theorem or discover no, the use of Pythagorean theorem and even suggested that they come up already with the value of pi, which is the 3.1416. And the first calendar, now the first calendar that was made by Sumerian civilization is the uh, is composed of 12 months, and then there is already phases of the moon. So that is also one of the reasons kung bakit meron pa rin tayong phases of the moon during this uh, at yung modern type, no yung modern type of uh, of calendar that we are using. Okay, so imagine meron na pa talagang yung basis natin ng calendar uh, for this modern time or during this present time is uh, also coming from the uh, ancient time or let's say during the Sumerian civilization because they come up already well, with 12 months or yung first calendar nila is composed already with 12 months. Okay? And uh, they also study astronomy no, during this time so they use also the mathematical concept or system to study astronomy, so to check out but, uh, the, the planets, the constellations, no? And maybe during this time, it's also suggested that since they studied constellations during the Sumerian civilization or Sumerians studied constellations, it is possible also that they already seen some, no? Some of the zodiac signs. Yan, so alam naman natin yung mga zodiac signs, yung mga pieces, yan, yung Scorpio, etc. So, it is possible also that they already seen yung uh, or maybe some no some already of the zodiac sign was seen during this uh, uh, time of the Sumerian civilization okay and that is the uh what's that? the writings and then um school no of the Sumerian civilization other important contributions of the Sumerian civilization uh they come up also with the first known wheeled vehicle that is made out of wood so yun yung wheel in cart no uh they uh, also come up with uh, trading concept or they the trades using the trades is actually using now the land route and through this uh, wheel in cart or maybe yung first known na wheeled vehicles and uh, there are also tools no tools sculptures jewelries pots and then pans and weapons already created during this uh, time of the Sumerians and canals and sewers is also in dikes even dikes has already been introduced or yung concept ng canals sewers and dikes was already introduced by Sumerian. And this is also one of their important contributions uh, when we talk about this uh, in line to science and then technology. And these are some pictures. No? They have also the first type of uh, of sandals. Yan, sandals yung term actually nila. No, no, on. So, 
uh, it is not really slippers, but it looks it is actually termed as sandals. And ornaments, okay, so ornaments, uh, jewelries, yan, uh, jewelries, um, pottery, okay. And those are other important contributions of Sumerian. So you see, no, uh, Sumerian is the first one to create first calendar. That is one of our bases for the present time. Uh, they also created the world's first writing system, which is what we call yung cuneiform uh, na writing system. Okay? And other contribution of the Sumerian civilization. And so aside from the Sumerian civilization, let us now proceed with the next civilization. No? So we have also what we call yung Babylonian civilization. Well, when I talk about Babylon, yan, Babylon yan, so or the Babylon. No? Babylon is one of the richest, yan, richest and popular civilization. Okay? And they are also one of the strongest and then richest, uh, what's that? richest people during the ancient time. No? Because of the structure, or because yes because of the structure of uh, the buildings or the structure of the city of Babylon. Yes, kasi nga sinabi na, sabi natin no they reign actually Babylon reigned for a very long time kasi sabi ko they are one of the richest and strongest and strongest uh, civilization during the ancient time. Okay? So they are quite well known to what we call yung hanging gardens. Okay? So, if you're going to search out the Google or the, uh, let's say, check out the history or book uh, history books, no, most of the time you can actually see the term hanging gardens. So the idea of hanging gardens came from the Babylonian civilization. Although, uh, although, no, although there are some debate, no, debate or argument that uh, these hanging gardens maybe it existed or merely an imagination of King Nebuchadnezzar II. Okay? So, some says it actually existed. However, there's no proof or evidence that this hanging gardens was existed before. They cannot find, uh, let's say, remains no, of the hanging gardens. And they are also saying that uh, this is only a mer merely uh, imagination of uh, the King Nebuchadnezzar II just to please, no, just to please uh, his wife uh, or her queen during this time. Okay, so that is one of their explanation. Kaya nakakaroon ng debate or argument if really you know, that the Hanging Garden exist, existed before because it's like a fantasy no, or let's say mythical place. Uh, and it said that there is no evidence of existence. And kaya nakakaroon ng debate. Although, yun nga sabi nila, no, uh, this was existed before and it might be destroyed because of natural events like for example earthquake yan, or maybe volcanic eruption but most of the time ang sinasabi na because maybe of of earthquake or maybe a type of disaster no, that destroyed the hanging gardens okay, because uh, hanging gardens is a uh, layers of gardens no merong maraming types of plants trees and then uh, species no so uh, aside from the hanging garden that is one of the popular term uh, in line to the babylonian civilization Babylonian civilization is also uh, was that, uh, quite well known on their walls of Babylon. Okay? And that is one of the reasons kung bakit nag no for a very long time ang Babylonian civilization because of these created walls by the king Nebuchadnezzar during the uh, ancient civilization or during the ancient time. And so, uh, these walls of Babylon is uh, around 80 feet tall and then uh, tons of actually or they use no a tons of bricks to protect now the city of Babylon okay kaya yan yung reason then kung bakit nagrain nga sila for a very long time so sabi ko no it is also one of the reason why they uh, describe as one of the strongest and the strongest civilization or strongest uh, city or strongest uh, yes strongest city also during the ancient time yeah, so this is uh, King Nebuchadnezzar II, and this is the Hanging Garden. So if you try to look at it, it's like a what you say? It's like a uh, mythical place, no? So some say it did not existed, but some say also it's actually existed. Yeah, nasira nga lang ng disaster or maybe an earthquake. That's why walang natirang remains, okay? Nang uh, what you Nang nang Hanging Garden. Yeah, and this is also. The, the what's that? This is the walls of Babylon. So, tingnan niyo, no? It's really still uh, one of the greatest uh, creation of the or created by the king, so that it will protect the city of the uh, city of Babylon. 
ganyan or yung Babylon no so that is really nice no and one of the reasons kung bakit nga nagrain for a very long time yung ating uh, Babylonians or yung Babylonians no or the, the Babylon okay and uh, during the 21st century my dear classmate or early let's say uh, early 21st century yan nagkaroon ng new discovery of the remain of the hanging garden but they be, but uh, the remains of the hanging garden was find out or found um, one well, let's say uh, far away no far far away from the location of the babylon and or the babylon yes the babylon the city of babylon okay so that's why they are not really sure if this is really the remains of the hanging garden but they 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 actually find uh, found out no some remains of the hanging garden yun nga lang the only problem again there is a debate or argument that uh, maybe this is not the hanging garden because it is away no from the location of this called uh, the city of babylon and or where is uh, the original location of the hanging garden that is a uh, belief no that this is uh, been existed in this particular um, place of of uh, the Babylon and so that is uh, the important contribution of the Babylon and they are also uh, good uh, what's that? they are good uh, alchemists no because they are using creams and then pills during this time uh, they also contributed in the concept of potters uh, or pottery no so meron silang potter's wheel yeah, and they also use bronze and iron metal for tools and weapons during this time. Um, looms, also they use looms to weave cloth already. No? Uh, or Babylonians are using already looms to weave cloth during this time. Uh, they also have their own type of ziggurat, but not similar to the ziggurat of Ur no, ng Samarians. Kasi nga, the ziggurat during this time is also considered to be temple but not that really similar or same doon sa ziggurat ng uh, Samarians and uh, it's not actually by 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 praising yung 3000 gods but they have a lesser gods during this uh, Babylon or Babylon believe on a uh, a lesser number of goddesses during this ancient time okay? and they are believing to what they call science of science Science of omens, no? So, meron tayong bad omen, good omen, yan. So, kaya nagkaroon din ng ziggurat, no? To praise these kinds of goddesses uh, of uh, the Babylon, okay? And uh, they also, the first one, no? The first one to introduce the concept of irrigation system uh, because if you have seen, no? Yung city of Babylon a while back, it is uh, still, uh, there is still a found uh, river, no? Uh, or the land is also having a river uh, parts yeah, and that's why they have an irrigation system or they introduce now the irrigation system uh, during this uh, time okay? and uh, they also come up with their own system of bookkeeping so imagine meron na tayong bookkeeping during the ancient time no? how they actually uh, count uh, money or maybe uh, check out yung trading concept or trading uh, system no? during this time yeah. so meron na tayong bookkeeping uh, during the early time and uh, they even use no uh, fractions uh, squares and then square roots already during this uh, time okay so you see no how really uh that how really really good uh, th those people or the babylons during the early time and astronomical they are also studying astronomical phenomena yeah, and so they believe on the lunar and then solar eclipse yeah, and so pwedeng sabi natin in line to science of omens uh, let's say, for example, during the lunar eclipse, it might be a good omen, or let's say during the solar eclipse, it's considered to be a bad omen. Okay, kaya they actually believe of what they call yung science of omens. And this is a sample of their bookkeeping before, okay, or the big bookkeeping of the Babylonian. And again, that is also one of uh, the amazing part no, of the or contribution of the Babylonian civilization because this is might be used no, or was used as one of the bases of the modern way of what you call this one, yung modern type of uh, bookkeeping okay so parang naging one of the bases as well or foundation to come up with the idea of bookkeeping okay so that is the babylonian civilization okay so after the babylonian civilization let us proceed now on the third one and this will be the last civilization that i'm going to discuss in this recorded video we're going to discuss the egyptian civilization so egyptian also is one of the popular civilization during the ancient time because of their 
uh, amazing contributions as well. No, like for like for Sumerians and then Babylonian, Egyptian civilization also or Egyptians no contributed a lot in the concept of science and technology. So the first thing you now that we need to think about Egyptian is the paper. You now the paper that they use actually during this time. So what is this paper? Now we have what they call yung papyrus, no? So if you are watching an Egyptian movies, you are you have been hearing about the term papyrus. So the papyrus uh, paper was the first type of paper that was used during this time or used by the Egyptians. And how they created the papyrus paper is from they extracted from the papyrus plant or also known as yung cypyrus papyrus. And this is only growing or grows along along the Nile River. Yan. So, pag Egypt kasi, yung pag-uusapan natin, andyan talaga yung uh, Nile River. no? And this Cyprus papyrus is growing along the Nile River. Okay? And not only that one, not only paper, so paper will not be completed if there's no ink no? or there's a, a, a pen no? so, so that we can write in that particular paper. That's why they also come up with a type of ink before, but this is a combination of various types of chemicals. Um, it is not specified what type of chemicals that they have been using during the Egyptian uh, during the ancient time. No, by these uh, Egyptians. However, according to study, it only described as combined uh, different kinds of chemicals just to come up with what we call an ink. No, that is used for writing in the uh, papyrus. Okay, and uh, they are using also the papyrus. No, for or, or the ink and then papyrus or they, they use this one for writing history and writing history and uh, writing about culture and even writing the loss no? the loss and then policies of Egyptian during this time okay and what you one uh, the first writing system that was used by the Egyptian or yes during this Egyptian uh, during the, this uh, time is uh, known or described as hieroglyphics. Yeah, and so if Sumerians come up with what we call the world's first writing system, which is cuneiform, for Egyptians, we, they are uh, they, they introduce the, the 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 writing system, which is the hieroglyphics. Yeah, and or some some references they call as hieroglyphs or maybe glyphs. Yeah, and so pare parehas lang naman yan. And also they use pictograms during this uh, time. So that is uh, the red, the writing system of the Egyptians. So pictograms, no, from the word picto, that is pictorial symbols. Okay, so form of pictorial symbols, yung ginagamit ng or the writing system of Egyptians, and these uh, pictorial symbols are representing individual objects or individual actions. And so tingnan natin later on, no. Uh, one of the amazing part also of the hieroglyphics or the writing system of Egyptian before, they already started the concept of cursive writings. Yan, yun nga lang, the only difference, they only use the cursive writings for religious literature or limited only to religious literature. Okay? But during this modern time, we are already uh, using yung cursive writings in the different uh, types of literature no? or different, uh, uh, yes, different literatures, not only limited to religious lit literature. But it is also, again, amazing part of the Egyptians to have this kind of uh, writing, no? yung cursive writing for religious literature. This is the picture or how is the uh, what's the use of uh, the ink and even yung uh, hieroglyphics natin. Okay, so ang hirap, no? ang hirap intindihin yung uh, talagang writing system ng ating Egyptians or the, 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 the Egyptians. And this is also another example of the hieroglyphics. So we have said no, it is representing a symbol of uh, maybe object or maybe symbol of actions. So, ganyan yung writing system ng Egyptian during the ancient time. Okay? And this is now the Cyprus uh, papyrus, no? Uh, Cyprus papyrus plant that uh, was extracted to come up with what you call yung ating papyrus paper. Ayan. Okay, so aside from the writings of the Egyptian civilization, Egyptian also uh, introduced two types of profession during this early time or during this ancient time no so if you are uh, if you don't know yeah there are actually two professions no two professions that introduced by egyptian uh, we have what they call yung barbering and then i make up if you have noticed no yung pharaohs yeah the pharaohs and even yung rich uh, uh, egyptians before 
uh, it's actually bulb. Yan. So, they are the first one to introduce the concept of barbering or yung profession na barbering and even yung eye makeup. If you also observe, those rich rich uh, Egyptians and even yung pharaohs natin, there is uh, somewhat an eye makeup no, in there or they have actually uh, an eye makeup. Okay? And they believe also that, uh, what's that? They believe also that uh, they used before during the ancient time uh, that? a sharp stone blades and then a copper blades razors for doing the shaving yan, or yung, yung barbering uh, was that? yung barbering way during this ancient time eh, by the Egyptians and they use also galena yan, galena yung term uh, to create a black ointment uh, cool that is used now for the eye makeup Okay, so most of the time, if you try to watch again no, or check out yung pictures ng mga pharaohs, you can definitely see yung um, eye makeup no, and even the use of that ointment na cool. So yun yung actually yung ginagamit nila for eye makeup. And they believe that why, no, or the reason why they are having this eye makeup because uh, it is believed that this eye makeup can actually cure eye diseases. Okay? And it's also representing that they are actually protected with evil and it is actually a sign of holiness. Yan. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, even if you're watching yung mga Egyptian movies, you can see that the pharaohs and even yung mga uh, the, the queens, no? the queens uh, and even yung rich uh, Egyptians before is actually wearing an eye makeup and because this is a sign of holiness. And so, you can distinguish or determine which is actually a, a servant and then a rich or high official na uh, Egyptian no, during the ancient time. Just by looking at yung eye makeup or if they have an eye makeup, then they are considered to be holy no, or a sign of, of that eye makeup is a sign of holiness. Okay? And uh, what is called this one? Aside from the, the profession that was introduced by the Egyptians, so again, no, yung barbering and then eye makeup is, let's say, this is also one of the bases of the modern type of barbering and then yung eye makeup. Not only eye makeup, but during this modern time, we already have yung as in na face na makeup. No? And aside from that one, we also have the first type of invention uh, that is uh, basically worn for health and then wellness. And if you are wondering kung saan nanggaling yung idea or the concept of wig, it is actually Egyptians. Yan. Egyptian come up with the very first type of wigs before. So, sabi ko, no? Um, na, uh, what's that? Uh, the pharaohs are actually bald and they are actually using wigs also before. And even the queens or even the ladies or women are actually wearing wigs before. Because uh, uh, they they believe also that this will... Uh, uh, what's that? The, it will one of the one of the protection no, from diseases, yeah, and especially for the pharaohs. So wealthy Egyptians are having a shaved heads, yeah, or bald no yung kanilang head. That's why they are using wigs. And one of the reason also aside from what's that? Uh, prevent the diseases, also to prevent lice. No yung tinatawag natin na uh, lisa no sa term natin. So they are using wig also to prevent lice. Or they are shaving, sorry, they are shaving their heads before to prevent lice. But then they are also using wig. And imagine when you talk about uh, Egyptian, no, Egyptian civilization, Egypt, uh, that particular place is very hot, no, kasi nga desert, no. So that's why one of the reasons kung bakit nila ginagamit yung wig is to protect also yung head, no, ng ng pharaoh or yung bald or yung shaved heads from the strike of the sun. Yan para din maiwasan yung tinatawag natin na sunburn or maybe. Uh, skin cancer, no? So that is one of the reasons why they come up with this type of of uh, invention before yung ating wig. Okay, so this is now uh, the the eye makeup, no? So makikita nyo dyan yung eye makeup and even yung use ng wigs. Okay, so this is the first type of wig before. Okay, ayan. So these are an example picture of the wigs. So again, no, the, the, the first concept or the first idea of uh, wig was uh, because of the Egyptian civilizations. So it's really amazing. No? And aside from these uh, wigs, no, aside from the uh, professions that was introduced by Egyptian civilization, um, they also come up with a type of clock no, or they invented a type of clock that was used by the Egyptians. So during the early time, they come up with what to call a water clock or clipsidra or they term it as clipsidra 
And this clip zebra is used or they determined no actually to divide now the day into 24 hours or through the use of clip zebra they come up on how to divide now yung ating in the to how to divide the day uh, into 24 hours. Okay, so that is the use of the clip sidra or the water clock of Egyptians. And they also have their own calendar or they created their own calendar uh, during the early time. No? So they, they use again the phases of the moon and it consists of 29 and one half days yung uh, one month no? No? na calendar ng Egyptians. So if, uh, if Sumerians if Sumerians created the first calendar composed of 12 months for Egyptians, they created the calendar again consists of 29 days and then one half days. So close, no? It's very close on the uh, modern type or the present type, present time or present, uh, sorry, present type of calendar. Okay, so ngayon, we are having a 30 days, no? 30 days and then 31 days. Yung February, that is 28 days. So, napaka-close actually dun sa mga old type or ancient type of calendars. And those are actually one of the bases, no? Why we come up also with our, or the new type of calendars. Yan. And, uh, they are also, what's that fun, no? Of, uh, or, what you call this one? They, there is one type of star that they are uh, looking at or observing. Yan. Uh, during the ancient time by the Egyptians, meron silang tinatawag na Sirius. Now, this is one of the brightest star no, that was only uh, coming out during the mid of August. So, the, the appearance and disappearance of Sirius or the brightest star during the ancient time is uh, actually a, what's on, a, uh, a signal no, a signal that there will be a flood. Yeah, there will be a flood coming from the Nile River. Okay, so that is how they determine or how they predict yung flooding of the Nile River. Okay, so yung appearance ng uh, brightest star, meaning magkakaroon ng flood. Okay, kung, uh, sorry, uh, baliktad. Yung disappearance ng Sirius will be uh, a signal for uh, the occurrence of the flood of the Nile River. Okay, so kung merong tayong uh, Sirius, mean, meaning there is no flooding. Okay, so that is how, that is also one of the amazing part of the Egyptian civilization. Okay, and uh, they also record time and then calculate distances or directions during this early time. And through the use of the water clock or the clipsidra also through the use of the calendar. Yeah, and even yung maybe the use of the constellations or other stars. No? So they can forecast the seasons and predict the annual flooding of the Nile River because of this appearance and disappearance of Sirius. Okay? Or yung brightest star uh, during the ancient time. Yan. Hanggang ngayon pa rin naman, no? nakikita pa rin naman yung brightest star na yan. Pero it's not already a prediction or a signal for a flooding of the Nile River. Kasi nga, nabago na yung structure ng, yung land structure ng uh, Egypt during this time. Okay, so this is now what it looks like, yung ating clip sidra or the water clock. And yan, this is another picture of the water clock. It is uh, somewhat similar, no? Somewhat similar uh, on the, what you call this one? Yung sun clock, no? By the uh, Greek civilization. So, for for Egyptian civilization, they created a water clock. So, water clock in the sense that it is using a water. So, how they do this one or how they calculate, no? As the water or yung remaining, uh, let's say this one, ito, mas uh, clear kasi siya. No? So, if uh, this, this uh, like a what's an, uh, pyramid na figure, um, there is, it is actually filled out of, with water. And there is a certain number of time, yan, dyan sa uh, part na yan. And as it will, as the water will be consumed, whatever the remained water and that is how they're going to determine yung remaining time of the day. Okay, so for example, sabi natin, uh, let's say within the day, two hours na lang yung natitira, so the, the, the level of the water will only staying in that particular level. Okay, so that is how they actually calculate or divide the day into 24 hours. Okay, so ang galing, no? Galing din ng Egyptian civilization or Egyptians on coming, uh, coming uh, or having this kind of invention during the early time okay, or during the ancient time. Okay, so that is the water clock or the clip sibdra. And sabi ko, no, uh, similar, parang similar doon sa sand clock that was created or introduced by the uh, Greek civilization. So, or maybe Roman civilization ata yung nag-introduce ng sand clock. 
Okay, pero ang alam ko Greek, no? So you have their a sun clock, so similar lang din naman, no? So yung kun, yung consumed na na sand will determine that uh, yan, it's either one hour or maybe two hours yan depending dun sa created na sun clock. So ang difference lang, it is using sand and then you're going to flip, no? You're going to flip uh, yung ating uh, or turn it, yes, flip or turn it yung ating sun clock. Okay, so that is the uh, sun clock and then the clepsydra but again no the, the 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 clock that was made by the egyptian civilization or the egyptians was the water clock or yung clepsydra and the last one or maybe this is one of the last part of egyptian or contribution of egyptian is the creation of what we call the pyramids yeah and so egyptian no one uh when you talk about egypt one of the popular thing that we are going to uh, talk is all about or for for other people or most of the people why Egypt is well known is because of the pyramids. Yan. And especially, yung tinatawag natin na Great Pyramid of Giza, uh, in these pyramids are considered to be the large monuments or burial place or tomb of the pharaohs. No? So, pharaohs or king or pharaoh. And if you notice also the location of this Great Pyramid of Giza, or the pyramids, no? it's actually facing the sun, the, the sun strike no? or yung sun rays or the rays of the sun uh, because it is believed that this will help no this will help to ascend or help the pharaoh or the king to to ascend or to go up and join the gods yeah and especially yung god uh, si si god of ra because god of ra is considered to be the uh, the strongest no the strongest type of god of uh, the egyptians and if you have watched yung god of egypt na movie yeah you can actually see yung uh, si god of ra yung uh, kanilang grandfather ata dun, yung kanilang grandfather that is staying on the uh, what's that in some uh, part of the somewhat in the sky no that is protecting actually the uh, the that, uh, protecting or to to drive away yung demon etc ganun actually yung concept dun sa uh, God of Egypt if you watch that one you can relate to what I am saying no so anyways yan si God of Ra actually yung pinaka malakas or one of the strongest or the strongest god or believed to be a strongest god during this ancient time a eh? by the Egyptians and also uh, if you are wondering why no why the body of a king or even the other Egyptians are actually being mummified or they are the first one no to have this kind of concept yung Egyptians uh, well known actually for mummification no so why the body of the king or other Egyptians are being mummified because it is believed that uh, there is a part of the spirit no of that uh, king or maybe the body of an Egyptian uh, na tinatawag nila na ka or it is termed as ka. Okay? And this part of the spirit should be taken care and then should be preserved. Okay? So that is why uh, the king or the body of the king or a body of an Egyptian is being mummified. Okay? So meron pala ta- silang term na ganyan. No? Before, I don't actually know. Uh, all I know is that, yes, it is part already of the culture or practices of Egyptians no? to mummify the body of uh, Egyptians no? or their people. But uh, according to the study, yeah, they believe on the part of the spirit, which is termed as ka, eh? that it should be taken care of and then it should be preserved. Eh? For uh, was that a better, was that in the afterlife, they have a... Uh, set a better life yun for the afterlife okay and uh, all uh, all uh, possession of uh, this king yan example goals food furniture and others are actually uh, included doon sa kanyang uh, coffin okay that's why if you also fan of watching uh, videos on discovery on uh, what's that, the different uh, coffins no of 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 these Egyptians and even yung yung parts or I think they discovered already some king also or pharaoh or tomb of pharaoh they can find uh, uh, treasure no so because of this uh, practice or culture of the Egyptians during the ancient time okay so lahat ng possession ng king will be included in his uh, coffin okay so kahit na gold yan uh, food furniture and other things okay na uh, that was uh, 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 what you want? Uh, possessed by this king or maybe this guy, this uh, high official or maybe this Egyptian. Okay? So, pharaohs, uh, we know about the Great Pyramid of Giza, yung three, three existing pyramids during this time. Uh, we have, that is actually a tomb of uh, Pharaoh Khufu, Khafre, and then 
uh, Min Kauri. And until now, they are trying to discover what is really inside the pyramid or how is the structure of pyramid. Although, may mga discoveries already, no? They, they have seen already the structure of some of the pyramids, but not actually totally, no? Not totally. Until now, they are still discovering or they are still um, learning, no? About this structure of the pyramids. Okay? And this is, no? The uh, existing uh, pyramid of Giza, yung yung pyramid nila Khufu, ni Khafre, at saka ni Menkauri. Other uh, pyramids has already been destroyed, no? Due to the time that was a pass already, kasi ng hundred years na yan, or more than hundred years already that pass. So some of the pyramids is already been destroyed. Okay, so yung remaining na pyramid ngayon na very popular uh, around the globe is the Great Pyramid of Giza, yung pinakamataas, no? Uh, pinakamataas, yung pinakamalaking pyramid that is still existing until this present time. Okay, so that is the different, uh, what's that? The different uh, contributions of the Egyptian civilization. So I'm going to stop or end on this civilization, and that's it for this recorded discussion or recorded video. We're going to continue this one on the part two, and on the part two or second part of our recorded uh, video discussion. So thank you so much for joining me in this recorded video. If you have any questions or clarifications, uh, feel free or don't hesitate to ask questions or clarification in our group chat or maybe in the comment of this uh, video yeah, or the comment section of this video. Thank you so much and then God bless everyone. I'll see you on the next part of this record recorded discussion video.